Hey. 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 Uh, Tina, do you have a fly in your hair? And are you high fiving it? No, I was trying to figure out a more mature look. I mean, you smell mature. Tammy's having a post Thanksgiving bonfire beach party on Saturday, and rumor has it that her older cousin is coming and she's bringing boys from her high school. Whoa, real life high school teens in the wild with their iPods and goatees? Yes, and that's why I have to look extra mature, which I hope this is. Or this? You should wear a business suit and tell everyone you're on a conference call. Do mom and dad know about this mature older teen people party? Well, I'm kind of waiting for the perfect moment to ask them permission. I tried to mom's asleep, but I'm not sure really kind of is asking. That's how dad proposed, I assume. A lot of Thanksgiving food in here, Bob. We're just one family, right? <laughs> that's exactly the right amount, Lynn. Are you worried about the meal being too amazing? They just can't find the milk. Do you think the turkey drank it? If it did, that's fine. It's allowed to do whatever it wants in there. Oh, found it. I don't know how we're getting it back in there, so we gotta finish this. Oh, look, that coupon for the mini golf place expires today. We meant to take the kids all summer and never did. Oh, wow. Well. It's into the transfer, you little coupon thingy. Zoom. Oh. Mother, father, Thanksgiving, huh? Did I RSVP yet? I mean, we were hoping you could make it. Speaking of RSVP, there's something coming up this weekend that I'd like Wait, to. What's uh, happening here? Don't do that, Al. That's a 50% off Mystery Planet World mini golf coupon. That's the most valuable thing we own. I know, hon, but it expires today. Sorry. We'll do something fun one day, I promise. Like giant centipedes? This tentacle thing? Release this dancing jetty is amazing. We have to go. What if we went right now? Nothing big's happening today. No, no, you're kidding. You're kidding, right? Think about it. Going on Thanksgiving means not many people will be there. Side and people are home doing a much better thing. Dad, we could potentially have an entire mini golf course to ourselves. Like it's ours. Like we're a bunch of mini mad cat millionaires running around at our private mini golf estate. I think that was an episode of Succession. I mean, we could go for a little bit and then come back and you'd still have plenty of time to stick the turkey in the oven when we got home. I don't just stick the turkey in the oven, Lynn. Yeah, first you kiss it all over. Gene. Wait, they have a snack bar with taquitos? Get in there! No, no taquitos. If you ate taquitos, you wouldn't have any room for dinner. I will make room. Tina, what do you say? Thanksgiving mini golf? Uh, I mean, only if mom and dad want to. I just respect them both so much. Well, it could be a sort of fun Thanksgiving family thing to do. Oh, I can sneak wine in the thermos. No, no, I won't do that. Maybe. I don't know. Please. Fine. As long as we go for like 20 minutes and then come right back home so I can cook. Between 20 and 95 minutes. Okay, yeah. Yay! Let me just say goodbye to the turkey. Yes! Look how empty the parking lot is. That's a good sign, right? Yeah, like maybe it's closed. Dad, no. Sorry. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not gonna run, but trust me, I am very excited. This is my new home. Oh, people, welcome. Hi. Every year I stay open thinking mini golf on Thanksgiving will become a thing. Like going to the movies on Christmas or bowling on Mother's Day. And then I wait and wait. And just as I'm about to give up, someone comes. And it's us. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, great. One family that comes today has a coupon. That's great. Yeah, sorry, coupon. Excuse me, I'm wondering where the snack bar is located. And are your taquitos locally sourced? Gene. Here's your putters, golf balls, scorecard, and your little pencils. And remember, here at Planet Mystery World, your balls won't know what hit them. Love it. Okay. All right, yeah, you time to eat some spaghetti. Your little dancing legs aren't gonna stop me twice. Wait, this is your third putt, though, right? Shush, shush, shush. <laughs> Yes, there he is. Mini golf, now your ball can be friends with all our balls that have been on that side waiting patiently. I still don't understand why the Yeti says mini golf yum. He's not eating the balls, they're basically going between his legs. Because he's a full package dad. When you put through there, his legs go super fast. When you put through there, that gets his arms going. And when you put through there, his head spins. And no matter what hole you get it through, he says mini golf yum. Because he's a gentleman. Jeez, wouldn't it be great to see him do all that stuff at the same time? I know we're all thinking that. Mm hmm Okay, Yeti, all done. On to the next one. Wait, Lynn, you, you didn't tell me what you got. Probably same as you. Well, I got two. Yeah, so did I. Plus two. So four. I, I don't think you did, but fine. No, I did. Oh, look at the next hole. Ooh, army guys being attacked by giant ants. Political. Come on, here we go. Wait, wait, people. Seems like we're kinda at the best hole already. What if we just stayed here and kept the Yeti party going? But what about the rest of the course? Come on, Mom. This is the kind of thing you can do when there's no one else here. I mean, we can do whatever we want. When else do we get to experience this type of freedom? Naked Thursdays? I keep telling you we're not doing those. You're not doing those. Anyway, Tina, Gene, and I will catch up to you guys. Go warm up those crazy mystery monsters for us. As long as we're home and we said we'd be home, I'm good. All right, fine. But be safe. Don't hit each other with your potters. You know that's why my great uncle Joe can't count to more than 15. Spada in the head. I'm quitting school. Okay, see you soon. Family. <laughs> Sounds good. Love you. Okay, here's what I'm thinking, guys. What if we try to get our three balls into the three tunnels at the exact same time? Yeti gets sweaty because now he's got to do head spin, arm flap, and a little dance all at once. Think about it. This is like the next stage of his evolution. It'd be criminal not to help us Yeti reach its full potential. I'm in. It sounds like important work and a little less walking. Um, I think I'm gonna just play the actual game with mom and dad. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Look, you can do whatever it is you want to do here, but I need to stay clean. Stay clean? Yes, I want to get permission to go to Tammy's possible high school boys bonfire party. You want to do that more than do this cool fun thing I just made up with the Yeti? I mean, is it going to be that fun? <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, Tina, I think you're having like a boring flare up right now or something. Or maybe I'm just having a maturity flare up, and you're having a maturity flare down. Excuse me? Because you're immature. Oh really? Then maybe it's better if we just don't play together. Yeah, maybe this. Okay, well, enjoy your dumb game of regular mini golf, I guess. Have fun being immature and messing something up, probably. We will. Perfect. Oof, that was intense. The keto break. Tina calling me immature. I'm not immature. She's the immature dumb dummy boob head. Yeah, what about wanting to see a Yeti do a funny dance as immature? We're basically scientists. Mm. Little ball, why must you mock me? Ugh, mm. I wouldn't have needed to find a third ball if a certain sister wasn't messing everything up. Uh, got it. You know, I don't want Tina to see how much fun we're having. She'll come crawling back. I'm already having fun. Although this ground has a distinct vomit smell that I don't love. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. So, Tina, you don't want to hang back with Gina and Louise and the Bigfoot? Yeah, I guess I'm just a little too immature for that kind of kid stuff. And totally hypothetical, yes. what's your stance on yes. bonfire beach parties? With <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, Lynn, good job. Still behind, but you know, helps your score. Little, not really. Hey, you get to ring this bell. Okay, I'm gonna go hit another hole in one. Um, Tina and I are still on this one. Oh, you're walking away. That's fine. We'll catch up because we're so much quicker than you. No, never mind. Damn it. Seven. Lucky number seven. You know, the ground here is weird. They need to fix that. Damn it. Stupid ground. Eight. Eight is great. I guess you're probably not looking to have anyone ask you any questions about weekend plans right now um, because you're busy being mad at the ground, which makes sense. What's that, honey? You want to ask me something? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, no. No. You hush. It's fine. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> These dang legs are driving me nuts. Because they're gorgeous or because they keep getting in the way? Well, if Tina wasn't being such a mature nerd, we'd have three people, one for each hole, and we wouldn't be having this problem. Should we give up? Shake the guy's hand and hope we can still all be friends? No. Gee, get your ball. Get in position, soldier. Get ready to get in this hit.
fall. Is it too dark. much to ask to get all three balls in at the same time to see a Yeti do a bunch of crazy stuff? Who said that? Lincoln. Hmm, it'd be easier if we could get those legs to stop moving. That's what they said about that roadrunner. What if we stick a putter in there? That would work, right? They shouldn't have given us putters if they didn't want us to stick them places. Yeah, now we won't need you at all. So if she just never wants to play with us again, I guess I'd be totally fine. There's the Thanksgiving spirit. I'll stick the putter in, we'll roll the balls, and then I'll pull it out before it starts to dip. And then our lives change forever, and we never look back. Mm. Okay, let's get in position. Bye bye. Ready? Roll! Yes! Oh no. You can barely tell. Okay, looking good. Dang it! Why do we have to make these things so darn easy to break when you shovel no object in them? Oh god, I don't want to go to mini golf jail! I bet the cells are diabolical little worlds unto themselves! We have astroturf everywhere! Oh, this day could not get any worse. Who's idea was it to go mini golfing on Thanksgiving anyway? Wait, what if we sort of wedge it in here? Ah! Getty, why can't you hold yourself together? You're better than this! Ugh. Well, Tina will be thrilled. She said we we're gonna break something, and now she's right, and I hate when I'm not the one who's right. Maybe we make a sign that says out of order, but not because two great kids broke it. Oh crap, it's Tina. Quick, make the legs look not broken. Oh, hey, you! Hey, just going to the bathroom. Great, great, love it. Don't make the same mistake I did and assume that outhouse over there with the wolfman peeking out of it is fully functional, because it is not. <laughs> How's your yeti game going? Uh, amazing, actually. <laughs> really, really fun and amazing and great. All of those things. We're just taking a little break because it's so fun. Actually, you know, exhausting from the hooting and the hollering. Just gotta recharge. Wait, there's something wrong with the legs. I mean, why do they look perfect? Aren't they supposed to be moving? Are they broken? Did you break them? What? No. Well, it looks like you're holding them up. Holding them up is part of the game. Oops, we lost. I knew it. I knew you would break something doing whatever it is we're doing over here. Well, I'd rather have fun and be immature and accidentally break something than be a too grown up this one-bit life-changing games person. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see it and go back to mom and dad. Well, go to the bathroom first, obviously, but then back to them. So good luck with this. Yeah, just go pee or poop. Whatever you're gonna do. It's pee. Number one. We know what number pee is. So Mexico, you, me, and the legs on the run. We try to stay one step ahead of the federales. Maybe we end up learning a thing or two about life, about ourselves. Uh, come on. You got this, Linda. Clear your mind. Nothing in there at all. Pop, don't breathe, okay? Ah, you know what it is? It's those aliens eating pizza. They're distracting me. Really? They didn't strike me. I like them. They're interested in our culture. They're not interested in anyone but themselves. Linda, I'm a little scared to talk to you right now, but um, we lost our kids, and now we're just two middle-aged people playing mini golf on Thanksgiving. One normal, and one you. So how about we just call it? Find the kids and go, and then I can cook dinner, and we could possibly never do this again. Bob, I need this. And I'm going to get another hole in one, and as soon as I do, we can go. Also, we're play by ourselves. Tina still likes us. She's just in the bathroom. Oh, crap bombs! This is your fault. Time is Tina. And your fault, other alien. So smug. Uh, we're done, mini golf goose. Nope, uh, nope, going back to mom and dad. Not gonna get involved in this. I've got a team party on the line. Oh crap, the manager. He's gonna see him. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, mini manager. That's my name. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Michael. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm just wondering, um, can you tell me what's the story behind that and keep looking this way while you do it? Oh, that. I had it made for my wife for our 10th wedding anniversary. She didn't want it out, so I brought it out here. Wow, that's really, really great and interesting. Yeah, it turns out her and I have very different ideas about what makes a great gift, apparently. Uh -huh. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta go wipe the bird poop off the mermaid sculpture two years ago, and I'm keeping it. The mermaid, not my wife, but my wife and the mermaid are friends, so it's fine. Yeah, you should definitely go in that direction and do that right away. And uh, take your time. <laughs> okay, I'm done helping. Uh, fine, still helping. This is so stupid. Are we gonna have to hold these dumb legs up for the rest of our lives? I'm sick of holding up my own legs. <sighs> Let's put them down. Gene, I don't think we have any other choice. We're just gonna have to go and tell mom and dad that we broke the end. Then Gene will say, I told you so, and then we'll go to mini golf jail and probably have to make mini license plates. You think we'll still be allowed to have Thanksgiving dinner tonight before the cops take us away? Maybe mom will pack us a little jail turkey or something. Oh god. Guys, wait. What do you want, Tina? Yes, we broke this thing and now we're gonna get into huge trouble. You were right, we're dumb. Happy? No, listen, don't tell mom and dad anything. What? We have to. There's no way to fix that yeti. Turns out we're not the savvy mechanical engineers I assumed we were. We've leaned it, tilted it, and leaned it again. What else is there? And don't say leaning. We've tried that. We need something to replace this broken rod in here that the legs rest on, like, um, oh, this. That tiny pencil? It's so wee. No, we got a whole bunch of them. Oh my god, Tina, you're genius. Gee, pencil, quick, let's go. I've never run towards a pencil in my life, but okay. I got one for myself to put behind my ear like an old-timey newspaper man. Great, so I'm gonna jam a bunch of pencils into this gear thing until it works again. Fingers crossed. Oh, God. I love it. Are you sure you're not moonlighting for NASA? You can tell us. We're cool. Nice. Got it in two. Two for Bob. Yeah, yeah, Tommy, two strokes. Get ready for Linda. Look at my hole in one. Just as long as you don't permanently change your name to that. Okay, feeling really, really good about this one. No, I, I, I hit it by accident. Redo, redo. Okay, I'll just put a little asterisk on the scorecard and write redo. But go ahead and start again. I will. And if I get it in one, it counts as one. Yeah, just gonna put that asterisk. We're doing everything we can. Stay calm. You're gonna dance again. Oh, how you'll dance. Oh, more customers. Thanksgiving mini golf is officially happening. Oh, crap. More people showing up. We gotta fix this quick. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Planet Mystery World at your service. I'm coming right over. Hurry, Tina. I know, I know. Pushing those pencils, pencil pusher. It's a final hole. This is my last chance. The power is inside you, Linda. Find that power again. Sure, did I take the butter out of the fridge before we left? Bob, putting! Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. Off you kidding me? You're still a wonderful <laughs> person, Lynn. Don't let mini golf destroy you. Hey, you got a hole in one in life? And at the fourth hole. And at the fourth hole. Which I will remember forever. Yes. Can we go home now so I can finally make dinner? And have wine. And have wine. All right. Let's get the kids to get the hell out of here. Oh, thank God. Okay, this seems like the right amount of pencils because that's all we have. Let's put the legs on. Mm. Hey, kids, wherever you are, time to go home and eat. Okay, great. Quick, quick, quick. Don't bother asking about the score because I drew the scorecard and it doesn't matter. No one cares. My score is really good, though. Just saying. Now, please let this work. Legs don't fail us now. Okay, let's slowly let go and step back and act like everything we're doing right now is totally natural. Yes, I mean, yeah, this is how his legs work. And this is how I stand when I'm being super normal. Okay, let's wrap it up so we can head back home to Turkey Town. Where we belong. Ready? Yep, yep, yep. Alright, Yeti. Okay, okay, slow down. <laughs> she loves the Yeti. What's not to love? Great hole, great Yeti. Yep, yep. Mini golf, yeah. Oh no! <gasps> Is that supposed to happen? Uh, and we're walking to the car. Uh, no, wait. Mom, Dad, Gene and I have to tell you something.